dear students welcome to my classroom and also welcome back to the chapter sets in previous part we have learned about the definition of set and the properties of set and we learned that a collection of well defined objects is a set and we use curly brackets to denote the sets and usually we denote the sets by capital english alphabets and if an element is present in some set we use the symbol belongs to and if it is not in the set then we use the symbol does not belong to and also we learned about uh, roster form and set builder form of a set okay and in this class we are going to solve the problems in exercise 2.1 and the first problem is which of the following are sets justify your answer so by using the definition of a set we have to determine that the following collections are sets or not and also we have to give reason okay so first one the collection of all the months of a year beginning with the letter z so what do you think is it a set or not so do you know which months are which months of a year begins with the letter j yes we all know that the months january june and july are beginning with the letter j so here the collection is well defined so the given collection is a set okay so let's write it so as the given collection is a set because there are three months in a year beginning with letter j and the months are january june and july so as the given collection is well defined hence it is a set okay so take this next one the collection of 10 most talented writers of india so what do you think about it is it a set or not so here it is given that the collection of 10 most talented writers so what is meant by talent here how to measure the talent is there any rule to measure the talent so we haven't any rule for measure the talent here so the given collection is not a set okay so let's write it so no the given collection is not a set because there is no rule given for deciding whether a particular writer is talented or not so that the given collection is not a set okay now take the third one a team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world as we have seen earlier problem so there is no no rule given to decide the given cricketer is best or not so here also the collection is not a set okay so the given collection is not a set because there is no rule given for deciding whether a particular cricketer is best or not so that the given collection is not a set okay now take the fourth one the collection of all boys in your class so do you think you know uh, all boys in your class usually we know about all boys in our class so here the collection is well defined so the given collection is a set because the collection is of, of all boys in a class is well defined hence the given collection is a set okay so take the next one the collection of all even integers so we all know which are even integers and which are not clearly okay so the collection of all even integers is a set because the collection of all even integers is well defined I, and we know that the even integers are 2 4 6 8 and so on so the given collection is a set okay 
So, take the second problem. So, here the first bit is over. If A is equal to 0, 2, 4, 6, B equal to set of 3, 5, 7 and C equal to set of elements P, Q and R, then fill the appropriate symbol belongs to or does not belong to in the blanks. Okay. So, here some blanks are given 0 blank A, 3 blank C, 4 blank B, 8 blank A, P blank C, 7 blank B. B. So, first take the first one 0 dash A. Whether 0 is present in the set A? So, we can see here that 0 is present in set A because A contains the element 0, 2, 4, 6. As 0 present in A, we can write 0 belongs to A. So, fill the first blank with belongs to. And if, if you take second one, 3 dash C. Is the element 3 is present in C? No, there are only 3 elements P, Q and R in C. But there is no 3 in the set C. As 3 is not present in set C, we can write 3 does not belong to set C. And similarly, 4 is not present in B. So, we can write 4 does not belong to B. And 8 is not present in A. So, we can write 8, is, 8 does not belong to A. And P is present in C. Okay. Here we can see that P, the element P is present in the set C. So, we can write P is belong to C. And 7 is not, sorry, 7 is present in B. Okay. So, that we can write 7 belongs to B. Okay. In that way, we use the symbol belongs to or does not belong to. So, let us see the third problem. Express the following statements using symbols. So, first one, the element x does not belong to A. So, using symbol we have to rewrite this sentence. So, we know the symbol of does not belong to. So, using the symbol does not belong to, we have to rewrite this sentence in mathematical form. Okay. So, we write x does not belong to A as like this. x does not belong to a. Here the symbol denotes does not belong to. Okay. And take now second one. D is an element of the set B. That means D is present in the set B. So, as D is present in the set B, we can write D belongs to B. Okay. So, D belongs to Sorry, we have to write here B. D belongs to B. So, please check it. Now, third one. 1 belongs to the set of natural numbers. And we usually we denote the set of natural numbers by N. And 1 is present in N. So, we can write 1 belongs to N. Okay. Next one, 8 does not belong to the set of prime numbers P. That is 8 is not present in the set P. So, we can write 8 does not belong to P. Okay. So, in this way, we can uh, write the sentences in mathematical form like this. Now, take the fourth question. State whether the following statements are true or false, justify your answer. So, first one, pi does not belong to set of prime numbers. So, students, we know the set of prime numbers, the elements in the set of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, like that. So, 5 is present in the set of prime numbers, but it is not given that 5 does not belong to the set of prime numbers. So, the given statement is false because as 5 is present in the state of, uh, set of prime numbers, 
hence the statement is false okay take the second one s is equal to set of 5 6 comma 7 implies 8 belongs to s is 8 belongs to the set s here no isn't it there are only three elements 5 6 and 7 in the set s and 8 is not present in s so the given statement is false because 8 is not present in the set s hence the statement is false and take the third one minus phi does not belongs to w where w is a set of whole numbers students we know that the whole number starts from 0 and there is no negative elements no negative integers in the set of whole numbers and here also it is given that minus phi does not belongs to w that is minus 5 is not present in the set of whole numbers hence the statement is true okay so we can write minus phi as minus 5 not present in the set of whole numbers w hence the statement is true take the fourth one 8 by 11 belongs to z where z is the set of integers and we know that in set of integers there is no fractions isn't it so but it is given that 8 by 11 is present in z so as 8 by 11 is not present in z the given statement is false okay so false because 8 by 11 is not present in set of integers z hence the statement is false okay now take the next section write the following sets in roster form so first one b is equal to set of x such that x is a natural number smaller than 6 so here the set builder form is given and we have to write the uh, set in roster form that is we have to write all the elements present in the set okay so x is a natural number smaller than 6 if x is present in set b then x is a natural number less than less than 6 and we know that the natural numbers less than 6 are 1 2 3 4 and 5 therefore set b is equal to set of all elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay and take the second one c is equal to set of x such that x is a two digit natural number such that the sum of its digits is h and students here in set we have the cell element x where x is a two digit natural number and the sum of the digits in the number is h so if the first digit is 1 the, then second digit is 7 and if first digit is 2 then second digit is 6 because the sum of the digits is h so we can write as c equal to 17 26 35 44 53 62 71 80 because in all these numbers uh, the sum of two digits is h okay now take the third one d is equal to x such that x is a prime number which is a divisor of 60 and you know the divisors of 60 and among them the prime numbers are 2 3 and 5 only these three are the uh, divisors of 60 which are prime numbers so we can write d is equal to two set of elements 2 3 and 5 okay now the fourth one is e is equal to x such that x is an alphabet in beta the word beta so the alphabets in beta are b e t r so that we can write e is equal to set of alphabets b e t and r okay so these four elements are present in e now take the sixth question write the following sets in the set builder form now they are going to give an roster form and we have to write them in set builder form so first one is 3 6 9 12 
So which type of numbers are these? Just first we have to think that. 3, 6, 9, 12. Which property are they have? So first one is 3 1s are 3, second one is 3 2s are and third one is 3 3s are and fourth one is 3 4s are. Isn't it? So here the four numbers are first to four multiples of 3. Okay. So that we can write x such that x is a multiple of 3 and x less than 13 because the last one is here 12. So the multiple should be less than 13. So x such that x is a multiple of 3 and x less than 13. Okay. And the second one is 2, 4, 8, 16, 24. So change it as 24. Now 2, sorry 64, 2, 4, 8, 16, 64. So it's 2 power 1, it's 2 power 2, 4 is 2 power 2. You can observe that 8 is 2 power 3, 16 is 2 power 4, 12 is 2 power, sorry 32 is 2 power 5, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 5, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. So we can write x, if x is present in the set, then x is in the power of 2. So x such that 2 power x, where x belongs to n, because we are where x is 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5 we have. So x is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is x is a natural number and x is less than or equal to 5 okay and take the third one 5 25 125 625 here also we can observe same property this is 5 power 1 5 power second one is 5 power 2 third one is 5 power 3 and fourth one is 5 power 4 so similarly we can write x such that 5 power x here 5 power x comma x belongs to n and x less than or equal to 4 Okay. Now, fourth one is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, up to 100. So, what can we observe in these all elements, which are which is the co common property in all these elements? What can you notice? First one is 1 square, second one is 2 square, third one is 3 square, and the last one is 10 square. Okay, so here x such that x square where x belongs to n and x less than or equal to 10. Okay, now take seventh question. Write the following sets in roster form. Again, it is given that the, the given that write the following sets in roster form. So a equal to set of x such that x is a natural number greater than 50 but smaller than 100. So we need to write the natural numbers greater than 50 but smaller than 100 that is 51, 52 up to 99. So the answer is set A is equal to 51, 52, 53 up to 99. And now second one is B is equal to set of x such that x is an integer x square equal to 4. Okay. So, which values will we satisfy the place of x here? We know if x equal to minus 2, minus 2 whole square is equal to 4. And if x equal to plus 2, plus 2 square is also 4. And here bo both minus 2 and 2 are integers. So, here we can write b is equal to set of elements minus 2 and 2. Now, Third one, D is equal to X such that X is a letter in the word loyal. So here it is simple. Letters in the word loyal are L, O, Y and A. We need not to write L again because L is repeating. So we can write D is equal to set of elements L, O, Y and A. Okay, students. Now, take the eighth one. 
match the roster form with set builder form so here some roster forms and some set builder forms are given we have to match them mm. okay so first take set builder form okay you, first a x such that x is a prime number and a divisor of 6 and uh, what are the prime divisors of 6 we know that the prime divisors of 6 are only 2 and 3 and in left side we have the elements 2 and 3 in second one so we can match second with a and now take b x such that x is an odd natural number smaller than 10 and we know that the nat odd natural numbers smaller than 10 are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So that we can match with uh, match B with fourth one. And now third one, X such that X is a natural number and divisor of 6. So we know that the natural numbers which are divisors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. And in first column we have 1, 2, 3, 6 at top. So, we can match first one with C and the remaining is M A T H E I C S and D is X such X is a letter of the word a mathematics and obviously we can match third one with D. Okay students, that is the end of XS 2.1 and in next class we are going to uh, learn very key points regarding to sets. So, do not miss the next class. Until then, see you. Bye.